And at the end of a very long month of going up and going through these papers, I thought, well, you know what, at the end of the day, this is very interesting, but it's all been done. And we in the newspaper profession pride ourselves on exclusives, on breaking news. And none of this, ladies and gentlemen, had been, was anything new. Until on a Friday afternoon, and one of the last days I went up there, I found a very plain manila envelope with 22 classified documents still in there. And it was a case known as the Coy allegation, or the Tiger Force case. And as I started reading these documents, and I'm going through them, I'm noticing soldiers beheading babies, soldiers cutting off the ears of Vietnamese villagers and wearing them as necklaces, scalping their prey and putting the scalps on the end of M16s, going up to, bu to bunkers and throwing grenades in, creating ma instant mass underground graves where men, women, and children were hiding, going into rice paddies and just shooting indiscriminately elderly farmers who clearly thought they were safe. These were not fog of war killings, and it was very clear to me, but it also struck me, my, my lord, this probably had been done before. How could this not have been? This is fairly well-documented stuff, even if it were just summaries on 22 pages. Still classified. And as I started doing research, and I get back and I started going through all the books I could find on Vietnam, at the public library, which were plentiful, as well as um, is, is massive internet searches, Nexus, Lexus, what have you, nothing relative to the Tiger Force case came up. This would begin one of the most exhaustive efforts undertaken by a newspaper to get to the bottom of what later would become, or we would soon find would be the longest series of atrocities carried out by a fighting unit in the Vietnam War.